Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, I'm going to create a video series on how to create this image slider that you see here. It's kind of 3D. Um, the images on the side kind of fade to the dark a little bit and the background image is a larger image that's blurred out, uh, blurred out so that it kind of looks cool, I guess, and it's sliding to the left and right. Um, I'm using transform rotate to uh, make this work and perspective skew. Uh, the inspiration for this is I got from this code pen right here. This is using GSAP, which is a paid uh, motion graphics software application uh, specifically designed for websites, HTML and CSS and JavaScript. But GSAP is paid. If you go to GSAP pricing, how much? Greenslog is this one right here. Um, it's it's uh, it's hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, whatever. Uh, mine is vanilla uh, JavaScript and JS. I am going to uh, ask. I'm going to uh, sell the source code to mine through my Patreon. Very not. I'm not going to press it too highly, but um, you can go through the whole video, and I'm putting the entirety of the video tutorial up for free. So you can, if you want to follow through the tutorial, you don't have to pay me at all. Um. So if you're I, there's, I didn't include all features. I just basically got the gist of the background and this image slider 3D effect. I didn't add in the text, and I couldn't add in the um, I couldn't add in this tilt effect because I tried using a vanilla tilt JS, this one right here, and it's supposed to kind of look like that right there. It's 3D effect, but um, because of the way that I added, I did my CSS3. I didn't. I should have. Um, if I wanted to use vanilla tilt this uh, framework, I should have used it from the very beginning to um, to make sure that none of my CSS and JavaScript code uh, interferes with the, the um, framework here, with this uh, library. But um, unfortunately, that's, I try to add it at the very end and it's not working. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys to, um, if you guys want to add that feature in, you guys can do that. And you guys can easily add in the text effect too. Um, this is a resource um, from Coding Journey Coding Journey uh, YouTube channel. This is a two-year-old video, but I think it's relevant. I didn't go through the entire video, but he does go through how to use Vanilla Tilt JS for um, default. More for uh, if you can use it, Vanilla Tilt JS is very good. But he also has a second part to it where he goes through the effect in, from scratch using JavaScript and CSS. Mind you, I did not go through this video because I wanted to keep my tutorial a little bit more simpler. And um, it's been a while since I did HTML and CSS and JavaScript, so I'm trying to ease, it, ease back into making tutorials. Uh, so if you want to add in the custom effect, I highly av advise you either use vanilla JS, they need to use uh, use um, vanilla tilt JS framework from the beginning, so that you know how to customize the code that I give you guys, so that it works in compact. You probably won't be able to use my code, but you'll have to use this from the beginning to uh, make it work with the library if you want to do it that way. Or you can do my way and then add in the effect by going through the this part of the tutorial at the end. And that should give you the effect of that tilt effect. Mind you, this is not the full 3D tilt effect. It only does left and right. So I'm not sure if this person is using a library or not. But that's the general gist of it. And I also have a little bit of a bug in mind where I if I, if I go to the right, quickly it works and if I wait a while and go to the left quickly it works but if I go from left to right really quickly it gives bugs if I click right left really quickly there's a little bit of bug and I tried disabling the buttons from left to right with the set interval JavaScript um, function to disable the button during that time of the animation I made the set interval slightly longer than the animation time so it happens after the animation but that is not giving me the intended effect. So unfortunately, there is a little bit of a bug. If you want to fix that, um, I think it's going to be a bit tough. But if you guys can, and if you do find a fix, let me know on my Twitter account. Uh, just send me a, hit me up with a tweet, and um, I if if it works, I will upload a uh, um, update video to this video tutorial series on how to fix that as well. If you guys find a fix, but otherwise. That's the basic gist of it. Um, I also didn't, uh, if I minimize the screen and maximize it again, there's a little bit of a shift in the um, background image. There's none of that in here. This one's more stable. So I didn't, I just didn't feel like coding it. <laughs> I know I should have, but I didn't uh, make this tutorial perfect. But that's the basic gist of it. If you want this 3D effect to move from left to right, and uh, the Background image is a much larger version. I just got it from pexel.com. So if you want to support 
if you want to go there, you can go over to pencil.com. You can get similar images, but I'll give you guys the images that I'm using here as a free download as well. But this is this smaller image is a crop version of the large larger image. Larger image is landscape version, and it has to be really big and wide because if I move to the right twice, the entire image has to move right twice, or it also has to anticipate moving left twice as well. So if I move left twice, and so it has to be forty per, like forty to sixty percent more on the left screen that's hidden, and forty percent forty to six. I, I forgot what the exact percentage was. With, percentages were but there's large percentage on the left and right that's hidden as that's out of view that's overflowing and um, yeah we'll go over everything in more detail in the tutorial and uh, this is just an introduction to show you guys what we will be coding in this video series I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to support if you guys want the source code go to patreon um, if you want to just follow along for free that's uh, completely fine with that I'm very happy for you to go all through, through all my videos for free and uh, let's go through this tutorial and make this great 3D image slider. All right, thanks, bye.